Hello and welcome to week 13. Uh, we are doing some Mazda racing or at Alton Park, a Foster's configuration. Uh, I've just got an old setup because this is open setup. Uh, I got an old setup from uh, Major's Garage is a uh, free baseline plus, and uh, it's, it's supposed to just be for the standard layout, even though we're at Foster's here. But it seems to work pretty well. I haven't had any complaints, so should be fine. Week 13's not my favorite. I'm always sad to see all my favorite series go away. But I understand the purpose. I'm just not a huge fan of unofficial racing. I might do a, uh, might do a couple just for fun, but uh, it usually doesn't capture my interest very long. <clears throat> and I just find myself wishing that the official stuff was back, so... Uh, this, however, is official. One of the few that are official this week. Um, hopefully everyone in the race realizes that. Cause there's, it feels like there's always at least one person that isn't taking it seriously because they think it's week 13, so it's not official. So hopefully they, uh, they aren't going to be a problem. They, uh, that is the case. Green, green, green. Oh my gosh, it didn't turn. Man. Yeah, give myself an off track and ruin my run to the light okay, immediately. Good plan, black. good plan. It's because of the tires. Still cold. Probably should have pushed the outlife a little harder just to get the tires warmed up more, but it's whatever. I'm not too concerned. Oh no, I hit that curve all wrong. God, I swear, I swear, as soon as I get into qualifying, I forget how to drive. I can do like 30 practice laps in a row, no exaggeration, no errors, and then I get into qualifying and I'm like, uh, what am I doing here? Which direction do I turn? I don't know what my problem is. So this will be a horrendous lap. And hopefully, I can make the next lap a little better. Jeez. I sure love self-sabotage. Did I get an off-track there? That, that might not even count, as far as I know. But, uh, hopefully it does. Okay, it still counted. Thankfully. A little nervous on the throttle there. I could have shot through there quicker, but... Well. Messed up the angle again. This turn this turn has been a if there is any turn that's been giving me problems, it's that one. Sorry. Get the wheel adjusted here. So already this is this lap's suffering. At least I got through there all right. It's another turn that sometimes gives me issue. And then this one I underdrive all the time. That one, that time was halfway okay though. The leader has just done a one Still a horrible six, lap. Three, three. Half a second off, like my best time. Like what am I doing here? There's the flag. It's over. <sighs> 106.2, my best is a 106.1, though that had a little bit of draft help, so I'm prop and I was consistently hitting 106.3s, so I should be in the 106.3s, but I just I get qualifying brain, I guess, I guess that's a thing, qualifying brain, forget how to drive, so if I had my 106.3, I would be in my, in a second or third, if I got my all-time best, I would be on pole. But again, that uh, that best time happened uh, with draft, so. Still hold on to fourth, though, and I know I'm much faster than that. So I'm just going to casually, while looking at something else on the screen, get a better lap here, because the less I think about it, the better I do, I guess. That still wasn't even a great lap, but it was faster than my previous lap. Let's go figure. 
see that was a 1066. That would have put me a couple spots higher. I would be in fourth right now instead of the sixth I just dropped to. <laughs> oh well. Uh, lots of people signed up. Usually the Mazdas have huge participation anyway, but I think it's uh, even higher because of week 13. We got like 200 something people signed up. So, I um, would have liked the strength field to be a little higher, but I am the four at least, not the number one. So, that's something. And as of right now, the one has not qualified, which is going to make it hard on them. Because a lot of people have qualified, so they might be doing themselves a dis uh, disservice, putting themselves back there. Maybe they're just having fun and having fun trying to pass people. Um, and we dropped down to seventh. It was not a good time. I feel like I should be about here in third. If I could hit my normal lap times, but but I guess you know it's uh, you know cold tires. I'm usually not very good on the cold tires. I don't manage them very well. I overdrive things. I think it's part of my problem. Um, we're just waiting on the one who is choosing not to qualify, maybe, and then just choosing to sit here and make everyone wait. I don't know. And then the 14, same story. Not doing anything. Not hitting a hitting hitting the blue button. <clears throat> As for the new update for the new season, uh, there wasn't too much that really uh, scratched my specific itch, so to speak. Not to say there wasn't a ton of things added. Uh, lots of exciting things for lots of people. Uh, just not too much that uh, really was for me, I don't think. I guess maybe that F4 might be interesting. I loved racing the uh, USF 2000. And it's very similar to that from what I'm hearing. But uh, I imagine the F4 is just going to take participation away from the USF 2000. And if that's the case, if that's a graveyard over there, a ghost town over in USF 2000 land, I guess maybe I might have to look into the F4 where everybody's going. And if it's similar, then at least it'll be bigger fields and a similar car. And uh, honestly... Part of my initial allure for the USF 2000 was, you know, sometimes I go to ovals, and uh, the oval racing was a little disappointing. So, I guess, remove the ovals that were disappointing, maybe it's a better series overall. I'm, I'm sitting here convincing myself, just talking. So, maybe I'll look into the F4. I'll think about it. The problem, too, is I don't own a lot of road tracks, and so I end up doing a lot of, uh, you know, rookie racing on road that has the free tracks and stuff. Oh. So when series go to all these tracks I don't own, then I don't really get to participate very often. Or as often as I would like, anyway. Alright, we ended up P7. Uh, I put 3.3 gallons of fuel in there. Not sure what that is in liters. I, I'm using, uh, you know, the United States <laughs> non-metric units of confusion. But, uh, got 3.3 gallons. Uh, I think two might have been okay. Probably would have been okay, but I don't want to cut it close. I don't think that's, it's going to make too much of a difference between two gallons and 3.3. I could be wrong. So we'll get this all ready. Guess we have to come fix our broken vehicle. Hopefully that's not something we have to do, but be ready. I did do one uh, race on my own time earlier this week. Um didn't record it, I was exhausted from work, and uh, my fiancé was sleeping in the same room, and I don't like... Uh, she says it's okay if I record while she's in here. She's a pretty heavy sleeper, but it doesn't feel right. <laughs> it feels like I should be hushing and being quiet, <laughs> even though she sleeps through just about anything, but uh, I don't like recording when there's people sleeping in the room. But uh, I did do a race, and it was in... It was completely frustrating. It was at Laguna Seca. I qualified second. Got knocked off the first uh, corner immediately. And uh, ended up last. Made my way through the field back up to like 7th or something. Only a couple laps to go. And then a guy just swerves left on the straightaway and hits me and knocks me off and breaks my car. And uh, that made me angry. I hope this doesn't make me angry.
Green flag, green flag. Apparently, watch it a little bit better. Car right. Keep to the left. Clear. All right. <laughs> So far, so good. This guy's coming up on us. She wasn't, but he is. Clear. Okay. Keeping it steady. Trying not to run into people. Gotta remember the tires. Oh, what did he say? I don't know what he said. Um. Starts okay. We're still in good shape here. I remember the tires are old and cold. <laughs> or they're not old, but cold. <laughs> but uh, this gets all over. Or I'm all over his bumper. Car ride. Right. Stay on the left. Still there. I tried to pass him on the outside, but he wasn't quite that slow. Wish he would still back there. off. Or losing time to the people in front. Six. Clear. Alright, that works. So I had to go slower through that corner because I was on your outside to start with. Are you going to try to pass me again because I was slow because of you? Or are you going to truly let me by? He truly lets me by. Okay. I'm still driving terribly though. I wish I could just pretend there's no cars around and that there's no timer. And I'm just on in my practice laps, so I would do so much better, I think. <sighs> just focus on my line. Just, I gotta get the mentality of road racing down. That's a big part of my problem. That and side-by-side -side racing. Gotta get better with that. Oh, no. <laughs> got crashed. I don't know if you noticed, it kind of was all over the screen, but uh, that guy crashed. The leader has just done a 106.44 P5. Moving forward, that's good news. Good news. Good news, so. I'm liking it. It's calm now, we got some room behind. Like that. See, as soon as it gets a little calmer, I start driving better. Imagine that. You fucking clown. Whoa! That guy is upset. That was kind of how I responded to the guy that crashed me the other race, though, so I cannot judge. I, I need to, like, I wish I could disable voice chat for myself. Shame, that's your fault. You're a fucking idiot. I wish I could disable voice chat for myself, but only when I'm angry. Like, the game could detect when I'm angry and then turn off voice chat. Because voice chat is very useful in many occasion, on many occasions. But sometimes I get angry and I'm like, I hate you. And then I feel really bad about it later. <laughs> and uh, I wish I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I just gotta have better self-control with the, with the uh, mic button, I guess. Even though... To be honest, the guy probably deserved to be chewed out for being a knucklehead. But, I still feel bad about it later, and I don't want to be toxic. So, I wish I could, I could read my mood and disable it at times. I'm just uh, trying to get better about that. It's, I'm better when I'm recording, because uh, it feels like people are watching, even though they aren't live. So, it makes me feel like, okay, i got to be nicer. I gotta get by this guy, by the way. He's blocking, I guess. Right side. Still there. Keep to the left. Clear. Well, this is frustrating. We're both gonna go slower because he won't let me by, but no, I'm clearly faster and he's gonna take his super dumb defensive line because he thinks he's Fernando Alonso. And he's in a lower quality F1 car or something. Right side. Keep to the 
Driven it, and there goes me passing that guy. I really was trying to send it to try to get past him, but clearly did not work. Alright, gotta be patient. More patient, I guess. May push this guy to the pass. Find myself an opening. Or he's gonna cut across my nose. Cool, man. That's cool. This guy's frustrating me. But I'm not gonna get on the mic about it. <laughs> Out of the way, my lord. Keep to the right. Still there. Good work, mate. You're on the left. Defend hard. Make them work for it. Car right. This guy. Mmm. Push the on the right. Catch this car. It's partly my fault I can't make a good pass. But Jesus, man. Look how much farther we've fallen back because you just won't let it go. Look how slow he is through here. Now he's going to take his defensive line. Mm hmm, hmm, my favorite. Right side. Clear. Irritating. I'm irritated. Very sweet today, I guess. Clear on the right. Sector 2 is 1.1. Off the pace. Fucking idiot, dude. That guy's upset again. So, I'm all over this guy. And I'm doing everything I can not to run in the back of him just because he's so much slower. But when I try the pass, I just can't get it done. I mean, like I said, it's probably my own fault not being able to make a pass. P5. Oh my god, I'm so... F People behind are going to catch! I'm crazy, man. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Still there. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Car on your left. Clear. Uh. Left side. Still there. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. It's getting in my plane. Still there. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Oh my god. Please let me get away from him. I swear to god if he dives this on me. Car right. Last lap. Stay on the left. It's Flippin' moron. Still there. I never once dived in on him. Clear. What does he do? Right side. Four. You're in fourth like position. Four Clear on the right. The right side. Clear. I can't believe he hasn't wrecked me yet, to be honest. At least I finally got by him. I <laughs> feel accomplished about that, but I definitely feel like I could have done more. I didn't uh, have to spend the entire race passing the guy. You know, at 
least I have my morals. And I'm not just diving it in on people. Ha ha ha. At least there's that. <sighs> it was good racing. You got it, Boyd Carroll, the right. Hold him now, Bart and Diamond. Yeah, uh, okay, he didn't hit from touch, I have no idea. Alright, there's the ticket flag. Good, right. Great job. Yeah, it was good racing, man. You defended hard. I, uh, I'm glad I was able to finally able to do it, but, uh, good clean racing, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know. Awkward. Is that a weird thing to say? Whatever. Uh, here's me getting upset, and then, of course, he says something, and he's a very nice person. That's why I need to not get on the mic too soon. He was just doing what he needed to do. Uh, I don't know. Here's the thing. So whenever I'm in the car, whenever I'm in the car, everything's intense. I'm angry. I'm fighting. And then you get out of the car and people are nice. You don't see the people as much. That's why it's like... Uh, so easy to get angry at people. That's why I need to get better about that. It's still true that he held us back, but he was just doing what he could to defend the spot. I apologize for all the mean things I said about him. Truth is, he didn't. He didn't run into us as much as I thought. Uh, thought it might happen. So. So it is. There's this guy getting uh yeah, the getting into the grass. It's left sides. It's an example of side by side racing gone wrong. I'm glad that's what we didn't do when fighting for the spot. Oh okay. That was a very bad rejoin. Fighting for the lead here. This guy Rex, I believe. Yes. Only kind of, though. We caught up to him, though. Though, 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 though. Kind of had an awkward spot here. This corner is, uh... Your cars go to die. Very hard to go side by side through there. Is anyone going to run into him? <laughs> we have people flying around on the outside in the grass. Yikes. Not much you can do there is the crash car, but... You know, sit and wait and hope. It's a rear ending for uh, last place. Let's just blink out. Oh no. Grass. Well, that was nothing, I guess. Blinking. Lots of blinking. And that was the end of the race, I suppose, and he decides to blow his engine for fun. Alright, well. First things first, pay no mind to me being angry and grumpy while racing. That's just uh, the racer's mindset. Truth is, the guy raced just fine in the end. He defended what he felt like he needed to, and he ended up finishing 5th as the 11. Uh, thanks in part to his good defending. So he did what he had to do, and... Uh, I gotta learn how to <laughs> accept the fact that's part of road racing. We only just had the 1x, uh, and that was because I was being aggressive trying to pass him. So that's that. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I can kind of do a quick overview of my battle with that guy of the whole race. Um, while I say goodbye for now. I'm not sure how many races I'm going to do this week because of week 13. Like I said, not too much interests me, and there's so many series that just don't exist during week 13. So, um, not sure how many races I'm going to be able to put up, but uh, of course, we'll probably be back in full swing next week as the start of the new season. Should be fun. And uh, looks like lap four, we finally start getting alongside of him, and he starts uh, doing his defensive line. And then here, let me like, let me look at this. So I did clear him. I was racing so hard, 
Um, and I definitely feel like uh, I'm glad he gave extra room here because I almost ran into him there. So I got lucky there. And uh, but because I was going so hard through there, I overdrove it and then he got by me again. So maybe a better road racer. Actually, definitely a better road racer handles <laughs> handles that better. So that's a thing. Oh man, why did I do that? Thought I was doing the incidents again. Really, I'm trying to uh, look at our side by side battle. So um, here where it was. Oh wait, that was the next lap, I believe. Next lap, yes, we got the dirt. It's past us again. There we go, back on it. And then we had that faster guy that ended up back here. He ends up driving away again, though, because we have to fight. <laughs> I did the same thing again. Uh, I guess that's just not a good place to pass. I had to take note of where I actually eventually did make the pass, so I know where a good passing opportunity is here on the strike for future reference. So I got the nose on him there. Just can't drive through it. I just can't make the pass, man. I eventually made it right there, but then he gets back on the inside. I felt like it was a bit of a dive, but he's scratching and clawing. So let me I want to examine this. Sorry, just doing a little bit of a race review right now. So I first get the nose on him here because for once I don't overdrive this corner and I take it how I want. He kind of overdrives it a little bit. And so I'm able to get to the inside here. And then suddenly we're going side by side through the danger corner. And uh, so I give him plenty of room because I know otherwise it might be tough. And uh, I think he gets really close to me here. That was actually kind of my fault. Let me look at that. Over the hill. He was close. I could have maybe given a little more room. I was just close racing. I could have had a better angle there. But I keep my angle and I do enough to get by him. So that's where we got it. And then here he dives it in. See, this is what I try not to do. He does not have the nose on me. He doesn't get the call that says uh, car, um, car outside or whatever, car to your left, whatever. So um, if I don't get that call, I don't try to make a, a move because uh, to me that's a dive bomb. But uh, he goes for it. I have to compromise my turn in a little bit. Can't take the apex. I have to go a lane up just to, because he's there. And that's what brings him alongside me. So you can see it's effective. It just, uh, I feel like wrecks are caused doing that, you know, dive bombs and then guys that take their normal line and then suddenly everyone's in the same spot. I drive hard there. I have to keep my spot. He almost hits me. We still manage not to hit each other. And, uh, Thankfully, I'm, a, I'm actually able to clear him there. It's because that he uh, had to lift off for me, he didn't get us alongside me, and he actually lifted. That uh, we didn't get into each other, and because uh, and that's what allowed me to clear him. So, you know what? He didn't run into me. He could have just run into me. Decided not to keep it clean. He decided to keep it clean, I mean. And so, you know what? I am thankful for that. And that's what eventually uh, got us a spot, and then I'm too far away for uh, for any dive bombs. So, that's how we finally made the pass. And we got ourselves a P4 after starting 7th. We moved forward 3 spots, pretty good, very happy with that. And the 19 had a great race. As the 19, finishing 6th from 10th starting spot, it's pretty good. The uh, 1, self-sabotaged with bad qualifying, like I said, like they could... They could have been the first fastest person out there, but it doesn't matter if they have to make it through all that traffic. But, uh, all right, that's enough. That's enough uh, blabbering on. That was the race. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll probably see you a couple more times this week for week 13. Uh, whatever I can find to race. So, I'll see you there.